so your box has arrived and it's quite a small box i've actually got this sitting on top of the table it's got two handles here which you can carry the box um after it's been delivered and all you're going to do is very carefully open the box on the top so it's just rather large sellotape on both sides so once you've opened it up You've got all of the contents for your brand new Innovis M340 ED, which is an embroidery with a Disney machine. And on the top here, you can see it. I'm just going to position it. You can see you've got, I'm just going to move it further back, not further in, sorry. You've got this carton here, which is protecting the uh, machine. So this is the um, dust cover. Let's be right, you could make yourself a far nicer one and use your embroidery, practice your, on your embroidery machine. So that's included. Also in this top polystyrene is the embroidery hoop. This is the embroidery hoop that you'll need. It's the 4x4 four four embroidery hoop and it also includes grid in there. So that's that. And then here is your plug to plug into the machine and then into your um, electrical outlet part. Then you have a piece of polystyrene, which is just shaped um, to keep the, the machine safe whilst it's in transit. It's recommended highly that you do keep the box. So if you ever needed to send it away for servicing or anything like that, um, then at least you would be able to um, pack it away very safely. So it's all packed very, very lovely. So this is the embroidery unit, which is on the side, which we'll unpack in a second. And then you have a packet here, which is in the side, which is the manual, the warranty card. Remember, you've got a three year warranty on all brother machines. And then finally, we come to the actual machine, which is here. So can you see you've got your machine and I'm just lifting it out there now. And now you have an empty box. So what you can do with the box is, as I say, you can either collapse the box or alternatively, um, you know, pop it into the, the loft, keep it, keep it for storage. So when you get your machine out of the box, it's got all this blue tape on. So what you're going to do is one end is doubled over. Just take all the blue tape off. This one here I'm going to talk about in a second um, because there's a piece of polystyrene that is underneath the um the presser foot so if you just manually raise the presser foot which is here and then the polystyrene should she says yes because it's stuck on will just come out now that's useful to keep if you are transporting your machine because it basically just protects this area here where the foot control is where the, where the presser foot is so that's off there I'm just checking on the back. There's none on the back. And then the last one is here. And then that reveals the brand new front. Look how lovely that is. Now, so you've got Mickey and Minnie and Mickey and Minnie in there. Just marvellous. I'm going to plug it in in a second. Now, what you've also got is start your creative journey. Now, remember that this particular machine has um, Wi-Fi. You've got a QR code on the top here, which you can just use your camera, open your camera up um, and it'll take you straight to the new app. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the app separately. So, so in this bag here, this is the bag that has your accessories. Now, you don't have a presser foot, obviously. In your bag, you have a cap. Um, this is a cap to go in. It fits sort of the Aurifil threads. It fits, it'll fit some of your embroidery threads. And remember, you don't have to use a specific thread on your machine. You can use uh, any particular thread you like. Embroidery threads just tend to have a nice um, sheen to them. Other small caps that you have is a small and a large, and the medium one is actually on the machine. Now, you're going to use the right spool cap for the end of your, your thread. This net here is if you have a thread that's not winding off correctly, um, sometimes some of the threads will whiz all over the place. If you pop the thread over it just as a guide and the thread comes out and it just makes the sewing process much easier. 
this is really quite useful except you don't really want to be undoing um embroidery embroidery designs because there's a lot of stitches tends to be in there but that's a seam ripper this is a screwdriver and this is ideal for using to tighten your hoop this is also a screwdriver um, and this is ideal for if you do need to take the foot off for any reason or to change your needles you get a little brush now I'm not thrilled to bits with these brushes. I tend to use a soft paint brush, a child's soft headed paint brush, um, but it's for cleaning. And what have we missed out? You get four pre-wound pre bobbins of the bobbin fill. Now, bobbin fill is a much finer thread, and that's what you're going to use at the back of your, um, on the bottom of your embroideries. Um, what else have we got? Oh, and a nice pair of embroidery scissors to cut your jump stitches or any stitches that are in between. And finally, you get two spare embroidery needles. And these are both size, um, oh, you've got two different sizes, 11, 14, so that'll be a 75 and a 90. Embroidery needles come in two sizes, 75 and 90. So that's the contents um, of the machine there. Now, you'll notice here... I'm going to pop these all back in a second and then I'm going to show you the um, embroidery unit. So this is the embroidery unit. Again, it's in another polythene bag. So we'll just take it out the bag. Okay, so we'll find the end. Take it out the bag. And again, you've got the blue tape and this is just protecting the arm of the embroidery unit. So this is the bit that moves, you see. So there's one there and then you have a further two you don't have to have particularly sharp nails there because what they've done is they've overlapped. Can you see they overlap the sticky tape here? And the reason I'm doing this is because so many people will buy these machines and they don't actually take them out of the box. So there's your embroidery unit. I'll hold it the correct way. Get rid of the sticky. So this part here is going to fit into this hole here. And all you simply do is slide it on and it'll click into place like that and that's it ready to go now the next thing that we need is an embroidery hoop now the embroidery hoop that's included with this machine is the one that you'll use for the majority of your stitches the design area of this particular machine is four inches by four inches or 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters you can buy an optional accessory, which is a bigger hoop. However, it'll allow you to um, move the designs down. But your design area, remember, the design stitched out is still four inches by four inches. But the bigger hoop is great if you wanted to do a series of letters or a series of designs in one hooping, um, which is ideal. Now, the way this fits on is there's a little um, spring here. And can you see, you've got two little round um, lugs, shall we call them. I don't know all the technical names. And you literally just pop it into place. So there it's in place and it clicks in like that. And that's your embroidery hoop on. To take it out, you literally just press the spring there and it, and it's hard to do it. That's it. Because I'm not in front of it. So just press the spring and it comes out. No problem at all. So there's your hoop. And the last thing to do is the um, power cable. So the power cable that you'll get in will fit the UK power sources. You've got your plastic, which you'll be familiar with. So take that off there. Oops. And then just undo the cable tidy. And then we're going to plug it into the side of the machine. So there's very little um, that you need to know about this machine because it's not like a sewing machine where you have different feet or anything like that. You just have the one standard embroidery foot on and it's already on the machine when the machine is delivered. So on the side of the machine here, you have a, a USB port. So you'll be able to still use a USB um, stick if you wanted to. So if you've got designs from elsewhere and you want to pass them onto the machine, of course, you can do that. Can you see here? This is where you plug it in. What I'll do is I'll plug this into the power and then it's this button here on the side which uh, powers the machine on and off. I'm going to turn it round, make sure that 
you've got full view of this part here and we're going to turn it on and when you turn it on and this is really important that you you just go through this process with it it'll come up with this brother screen and it'll have um i'm just going to get you in nice and close can you see it'll have lots of little pictures on there so if you just touch that screen it immediately comes up and says select your language now uh, because it's being imported into the UK, it's assuming that your first language is English. But if your first language isn't English, you can scroll through um, and there's a variety of different languages. Turkish, Korean, Russian, Romanian, there's Czech, there's German, there's French, there's all sorts in there. So what we'll do is we'll get that back to English. At any time later on, you can also change that language and we'll just press OK. And then you'll come up with this information here which says remove the embroidery frame if you had it on the carriage of the embroidery unit will move keep your hands etc away from the carriage now you also want to make sure that you've got a nice clear area around i'm just going to bring you back into here you want to have a nice clear area into the area of your machine so when we press that as an okay what you can see is it's calibrated the um, embroidery unit and it's now ready to embroider it now is telling you and i'm going to bring you back in again because this is a brand new machine with wireless facility it's got set the wireless len okay to start wireless setup wizard now if you didn't want to do that now you could just say not now but we're going to say okay and it's searching for the information it needs. You don't need to do anything. And I've already downloaded the app onto my phone. So it will pick it up and it will pick up the Wi-Fi, hopefully, in here. So the machine just took a few moments because my, my Wi-Fi, it's supposed to be super duper fast, but it actually isn't. But it's identified my Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to pop it onto there. And then you need the, the password. So... I will seek out the password and put my password in and then come back to you. What I've done is I've just for security, my own security, I've popped in my um, password for my modem, which you'll find on the back of your modem um, for your, on your, you know, your, your broadband thing. And I'm just going to press OK. And now it's going to connect wirelessly to the Wi-Fi in your home. Hi, so I've now got... Um, the password that was on the back of my router popped in as it has requested and it's now come up with this screen so i've got wireless on i could obviously turn it off when i turn it off it would um it'll recall which one it is there's a wireless lan setup wizard and then what the status is so we can have a little look in here so you can see my status is active i've got a strong signal and that's just telling me um what my modem is so this is the return button so if i choose something and i want to go backwards it's very much like um, a computer this one here when you press it what it does is it stops anybody touching the um sorry touch it again but if you were to touch the screen because remember it is a touch screen little fingers it's it's actually a way of um protecting your fingers if you're changing the needle etc this one here is how we scroll through the different, um, so it's, it's forwards and backwards, how we scroll through the different menus. This just gives you the um, picture in the hoop. This one here is the menu. So basically we can go through this. You have 10 pages. Your embroidery frame display is 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. If we just go through there, oh, hang on, go, go to there. So we can actually pop that on and then go to that one there. Now, what you can do here is the numbers that will appear on your threads at this moment in time are the numbers of the brother threads. You may not have the brother threads. So if you don't have the brother threads, you can actually change it so it says name of colour. So rather than saying, for example, I think the black is 001, it will actually have the word black. Um, you can either have the original brother or there is also the country colours sorry original threads or embroidery threads and then the country threads is the uh, embroidery threads have a sheen to them the country tends to be a little bit more matte and here if you're somebody who works in inches rather than millimeters you can change everything to inches so rather than your hoop saying 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters it will say um sorry i came out there quickly it'll say 
four inches by four inches so can you see there it's changed that so we'll just go there we've done that page the third page is all down to the thumbnail size so you can select your thumbnails and change the colors on there and the sizes you can have the machine so that the needle always stops in the needle down position or in the needle up position that little beeper that you can hear i would suggest you keep that on certainly in the beginning till you learn how to use the machine the opening screen can you remember with those lovely pictures if you don't want to have those on and just go straight to the menu then you can turn that off and if at any time you suddenly start speaking a different language or you want to change this machine to a different language of course you can do that the light here is the if i just move that around is the light that's under here and if you wanted to you could turn it off if it was reflecting um it's entirely up to you now this one here input sensitivity i think this one's quite good if you're really heavy-handed um you can actually make it less sensitive or if you're very light you know light fingered you can make it more sensitive so that's quite a good one to have and this will tell you that this machine is brand spanking new it's not sewn a single stitch so the service count will go round depending on the, how the, how many stitches and obviously the total count when i first start with the machine those two will be the same but after it gets serviced by a recommended brother service engineer what the service engineer will do a bit like your car it'll reduce that to zero but he won't touch this number here at all this number here is the machine number now this is not the serial number that's on the back of the machine this is a completely different number and that's the version of the software which is 1.51 and if at any time you want to you've made some changes and you want to return them to the factory settings just press reset here you can see that i've got the wireless on and this was the page that we talked about before you can obviously knock it off if you knock it off and you want to just find it very quickly use the wizard it's very very quickly and this will tell you the status and the you know the strength of your um your internet signal basically your, your, your wi-fi signal the machine name we can give this a name that we want so we can just simply change this if i wanted to and i could change it to kim's machine kim so i'll just say okay i could have deleted all that so now it's so machine 168 kim so i know it's my machine you can call it what you like really and if you need to check for updates now brother regularly have updates and what you'll be able to do is go onto the brother site get your updates and wirelessly um download them so just to check for the brother update you could just press that button there this is a brand spanking new machine um it's got latest version available new update on the server so we'll just say okay and we can download the latest updates in fact this does need an update already let me just go back onto that that's amazing if it needs an update yeah so we're at 1.51 as you see you can see this is a brand new machine but there is actually a new update available and it's the latest update is 1.6. So I need to go onto the uh, Brother server and get that, um, sorry, and get that downloaded. And what I'll be able to do is to download it onto my um, USB and update my machine. So I'm just going to go back up to that page where I was. That's amazing. What they do, brother, are really very good because if they see if there's anything that they want, um, if they want to um, improve, then they will do regular updates. So it's well worth regularly going into that menu to check. Now, Art Spira Register, if we press this here, get the pin code to register your machine. So you just have to log into Art Spira um, or you, and go to brother. It gives you the information there. Or obviously, I can do it with my... Um, Let's see if I can do it with my camera. Give me one moment. So all I'm going to do is hover the camera over there. Can you see? It's gone straight to it. Brother Art Inspira. So I'll open that. I'll continue with Apple. Um, do you want to sign in? Sorry, do you want to sign in to Brother Inspira? So I'm going to just sign in there. Done. So I'm logged in. It's just going to take a couple of minutes. So when I'm logged in, can you see at the top here, 
there's a, a little machine and that's I'm going to register this machine so I'm going to register that embroidery machine and what I need to do is um, press register at Art Inspira or settings on the screen of the machine so we'll have done so we'll get next and input the machine number so and I've done that and I need to get me me number and just pop that in so I'm going to do that off the off the um off the video and then I can show you. So it's as simple as that. Everything's really intuitive. I know I've spent quite a long time um talking about this, but I just think that when you get your machine, it's always worth knowing how to set it up. Identifying parts. This is your tension button. I have never changed the tension button ever. And what I'll do is I'll do a further um video and show you how to thread it up and pop your bottom bobbin in. Now, in addition to all of the information that I've just given you, you get a wealth of oops, a wealth of information from brother in your in your with your machine. You get all of your Disney designs, you get a quick reference guide, you get your embroidery design catalogue, so that's the non-Disney designs. Then you get what's included in your machine. Uh, with your machine so that's all of the pictures so you can easily identify those you get an operation manual for the embroidery machine this is just some information about the data the design data transfer as and this is your um important notes these, these is what i call the blurb de blurb how to dispose of it and your warranty cards in there as well so that's everything that you'll get with your machine so i hope that helps and look out for the next videos, which will tell you about how to thread and how to actually use the Brother, brand new Brother M340ED.